What would ASAP do on a first date? For it depends on who I'm on a date with. I can't go on dates anymore. I'm taken. Uh, but if I was to go on a date, what would I do? Yeah, what would you do? What did you do for Chanel? Okay, you can't say her <laughs> name on camera. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> Run it back. Cut, we're back. So what's what would ASAP do on a first date? All right, on a, with a woman or a big booty chick? Uh, that I just a uh, A woman. A woman, I would pull out her chair. If I like her, you know, I would tell her the things that I feel on my mind. And, you know, I would do something romantic. For a chick, I would definitely try to get to the point and get some Yeah, that's it. What do you like? A girl to wear what is that like when you see it that's attractive do you like a simple you know outfit or do you like you know for her to go all out fashion? variety i like simple today complex tomorrow jiggy the next day conservative the following day i just like variety i mean i don't dress the same every single day but as far as a woman i think it's like double duty because it's like she's a female so she yeah. has to be able to you know kind of touch on all looks of it. I love a girl who has fun with her fashion. What attracts me more than anything is a girl who stands out, you know, and I'm talking about like, just knows about her fashion stuff and it's just, it's just clothes, but at the same time, it's a little bit more complex. Do you find that girls, uh, when they talk to you about fashion and they know that you like fashion, do you find that that's something attractive to them? Like, they, do they love that about you? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Girls just love me though, like, you know, I'm just right. jiggy like that though, you know? <laughs> like, I'm just, I am, they just do. Um, I feel like you're definitely a fashion icon, you're becoming one for sure. I uh, don't care to be, I do care, so I don't want to contradict myself, but like, I want to be just, I want to get my credit for the jiggy that I do. That's all I want. You don't got to say I'm a fashion icon. I mean, if they choose to say that, fine. Okay, I'll be that, you know, whatever. But give me my credit for all of the trends that I'm starting at. I don't, I brung bait back, the camo thing. Now it's just camo everywhere. I'm not going to say I'm responsible for Jeremy Scott. I'm responsible for Jeremy Scott in the ghetto. That's what I'm saying. I'm responsible for people in the hood in Harlem wearing Jeremy Scott. I am. I'm responsible for hip hop wearing gold again. It was all about diamonds, so I said I couldn't afford diamonds before and I'm going to get in the game and I don't want diamonds because I actually know how to dress. I don't need to have to compensate for fashion sense. So I'm going to wear gold because gold is in gems and jewels is what emperors and kings wore. They didn't wear like just diamonds all day. Diamonds are a girl, girl's best friend. So, you know, I brought gold back. I bought like the round, you know, John Lennon, Gaultier glasses. The, I brought that back. Look at Goldie. Look at how the Versace yeah. accessory jewelry thing. I can't even enjoy it anymore because all these cats make it look tacky, but who was the first <laughs> to do it? Me. Look at the Lana Del Rey National Anthem video. It's all there for you guys to see. I did it first. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to read this quote to you. Azealia Banks said recently that um, I think that too much fashion attention as an artist can actually smother you. It can really, really distract from your music. If you can, if you place your faith in fa in the fashion world, you will be let down as an artist. It's very important. It's very very important to remember where you're, why you're here. That's good for Azalea to say. <laughs> do you agree? Do you think being attached to fashion can hurt an artist, or do you think it's it it, it doesn't? Too much of anything could hurt anybody. You know, too much of anything is no good for you. For me, it's like fashion is just one of those things I was rapping about because it, I was into it and now people affiliate, affiliate and associate me with it. So uh, naturally people want to associate me with fashion and that's cool. It's like you said, they call me a fashion icon, a fashionista, that's fine. You know, uh, you don't see me trying to design a whole new brand and a whole new line, no. I'm actually in the studio Working on production. I'm making new songs every day. I try to at least make a new song every day. Yeah. I'm working on videos every day. So, you know, just because I, I could dab in fashion too, man, don't hate me because I'm pretty. Like, you know, so <laughs> I'm gonna say, but for real, I mean, if that's what doesn't work for her, I understand because, you know, the fashion world loves Azalea Banks. You know, it's, it's there, there are artists who think, oh, let me just be a mannequin and yeah. 
excuse me, the music could be secondary. And I feel like that is wrong. If that's what, if that's what she's saying, if, if that's what I took from it, from me, it's like, I'll do what I want. I don't give a f Well, there you go. That was ASAP, guys. That's it? That's it? I went to the slums of DR. It was kids walking around with Mac 11s and machine guns and shotguns. I was riding on dirt bikes, motorcycles, girls have Pardon my language, tech nines and stuff. So it was crazy out there.